Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Marriage and Money Tips. I'm Elle Martinez, creator and host of Couple Money, where we're focused on helping spouses get on the same page, dump their debt faster, and get on the path to financial freedom. And along that journey, your credit score does play a role. It might not be the most important number, but it does have an effect with your finances. How? Well, when you have a higher credit score, you tend to qualify for better interest rates on your mortgages and other loans. And depending on your job, some employers look at your credit score. Before we get into the tips, I wanna make sure we're on the same page. Many people, including myself years ago, use credit score and credit report interchangeably. And while they are related, they are not the same thing. Quite simply, your credit scores are based on what's your credit report. And your credit report is your history with lenders, with payments on your credit cards, could be car loans, medical debt, student loans, mortgages, so forth. If you notice, I use plural. That's because you don't have one credit score. You get a credit score from each of the three credit bureaus. You have Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Okay, so we have the basics down. So here are five ways we can increase your credit score. Number one is make sure your credit reports are accurate. Since your score is reliant on what's in those reports, you better make sure they get it right. So how can you check it? Well, through annualcreditreport.com, you can get your reports from all three bureaus free every year. Now, what I've done in the past and some others do is that we work and pull the credit report from one of the bureaus every about four months. So that can give us an idea of how we're doing with our credit. But you may notice, even though they should be fairly consistent, there can be some differences in between. So if you prefer, you can grab them all at once. And if you do see an error, make sure you dispute it the more negative marks on your credit report, the lower your score. So make sure that it's accurate so your score reflects what's really going on. The second step is make sure you have an automated bill payment in place. Your payment history is by far the biggest factor on your credit score, so you wanna make sure you have everything done correctly. The best thing you can do is have a consistent history of paying your bills on time. So go ahead and schedule those payments not on the credit card or creditor side, but on your side through your bank and credit union. And if you're behind on any of your debts, make sure you hustle and catch up with them. The third thing you want to make sure that you're on top of is avoid large balances on your credit card. Yes, they're looking for activity on your credit card, but if you're carrying a balance and it's a large one, it's hurting you because credit utilization ratio, that's basically, how much your credit limit is and your credit lines are and how much you're actually using is a factor. And if you're up against or at your limit, it's going to lower your score. So avoid those large balances. Fourth step, don't close an account after you pay it off. Again, we're looking at that credit utilization. You want to make sure that what your credit line is or your limit is is much more than what you actually owe. So your score will be negatively affected if you automatically close your accounts after you pay them off. But I completely understand you don't wanna have that temptation to use it. So if you need to, cut up those credit cards, but still keep the account open. This can help you get that higher score that you want so you can get a lower interest rate on your mortgage. Oh, and by the way, if you're tempted to open up new accounts so you can raise your score, don't. This can backfire in two ways. One, when you open several accounts, new accounts and have these inquiries, they can lower your credit score temporarily. But then also, we're looking at raising your credit score without taking on more needless risk or temptation. Never spend more money just to build your credit. Please remember that. And finally, knock out your debt. Your goal in this entire system should be to pay off your debts. Getting rid of your credit card debt is a huge win because you're not sucked into those ridiculous interest rates. You can also get more freedom and options by paying off your car and student loans. And finally, it's going to take a while, but can you imagine getting rid of your mortgage? How would you feel? And once you're debt-free, 
Now there's another decision the two of you can make. You might want to sit down and talk about this. How does a high credit score affect your finances going forward? For some couples, you may find that it's easier and much better for your marriage and your finances if you're not too concerned about your credit score. After all, it only takes in how you are working with your lenders and handling debt. It doesn't look at your net worth or your savings. So you might find that forgetting about credit cards and that game is the right move for you. Or you might be a couple that say, hey, we'd love to take advantage of credit cards for their travel deals. If that's the case, please make sure you have a system that will help you pay off your credit cards every month and that you're not overspending just to get those rewards. A tool that can help you out is Deputize. What it does is you link your credit card with them and as you're making purchases on your card, it sets up transfers so it makes payments on your behalf. That way you're not running a debt with your credit cards while still getting those rewards. Now, I'd love to hear from you on this. What are your thoughts on your credit scores? Why are you looking to improve it and increase it? If this video has been helpful for you, could you like and share it with a friend? And if you don't wanna miss out on another episode of Marriage and Money Tips, please subscribe to this channel and join us for the free five days to 5K challenge where I help you save, find, and make extra money on the side. Just go to couplemoney.com slash 5K. I hope you have a great week. Take care.